If the goal is longevity, age products may be a problem. Feeding age products to mice on a calorie-restricted diet, CR, shortens lifespan, and we can see that data here. So we're looking at cumulative survival on the y-axis plotted against uh, longevity or lifespan on the x. And we can see that mice that were subjected to 40% calorie restricted had a significant extension of lifespan. Now note that calories and age products are reduced on the calorie restricted diet. And we can see that here. So when comparing the regular diet reg versus CR, uh, we can see that food intake on the CR diet in grams per day was three grams per day versus five on the regular diet. So a 40% restriction of food intake. And that resulted in a 40% reduction in calorie intake for CR mice but also notice for the age product CML, which stands for N6 carboxymethylysine, we can see that uh, this age product CML was 37% less on the CR diet because they ate less food when compared with the regular diet. So is it the calories that's leading to the extension of lifespan in CR mice or is it the age products? So to test that, the authors of this study then added age products, more specifically CML and, and others into the food. So does that affect lifespan? So first, let's look at the dietary composition for mice that were fed the high age product diet as shown there. So first, we can see that food intake and calorie intake were similar, exact, you know, exactly similar to what CR mice, CR mice ate. But we can see that age products on the CR high diet were almost threefold higher than mice that were on CR and also higher than on the regular diet. So what was the effect on lifespan for CR mice that ate the same amount of food as regular CR mice, but that a higher, had, had, had a higher age product level in their diet? And we can see that the lifespan extension uh, for CR mice is gone. So age products, feeding age products to mice, even on a CR diet, shortens lifespan. Conversely, reducing dietary age products increases lifespan. And we can see that data here. So once again, looking at cumulative survival on the y-axis plotted against uh, lifespan or longevity uh, in age or weeks, we can see that mice were fed a regular age product containing diet in the, uh, in the rectangles and then a low age diet in the triangles. And we can see that mice that were fed the low age product diet had a significant extension of lifespan. 